Bible. Welcome to Vlog Thursday. I'm in the elevator and we're cruising down. I'm gonna go outside and see what's going on. I tell you, I've been in the house all morning doing readings. I got up early. I'm like 6.30 this morning. I did laundry, did some housework, did some readings. Whew, it's 1.30 and now I'm ready for lunch. <laughs> so I'll get some food, do some shopping. Come on along. Well, I'm out on the street and it's looking pretty cool today. Our Sun Lord is shining down. It's brilliant, bright and beautiful. Hail to the Sun Lord. Our sky is blue. A few scattered clouds, but it's looking pretty good. So let's go on and see what there is to see. One of the things that I need to investigate today is this new mirror over here. Outside of our building, they put this giant reflecting mirror up. Can you guys see this? Now this is to monitor traffic so that people can see cars exiting because a lot of times people come out of this driveway and it's a little dangerous. So they put up this big mirror up here. But you know, from a feng shui perspective, I don't know if it's so good, you know? Because when people are driving, they're looking at it. And if they're driving, especially around here aggressively, it's reflecting energy back, you know, to people in the community. So. I don't know, you know, from a feng shui place, I'm concerned about this mirror, you know. I suppose it's a necessary thing, but anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so any of you feng shui experts, let me know what you think about this giant mirror. Let's look inside. Ooh, there's Sagibara. Ooh, I'm in the mirror. <laughs> All right, well, let's go out along. Since we're checking out stuff in the neighborhood, we gotta check on our little tree here. Remember this little tree got all shorn down? Well, he's waiting for his greenery still. But he's cute looking, isn't he? Poor thing, pitiful as can be. But he'll be thankful. All of you who are gardeners wrote and told me about that, and you said, Psych Bob, don't worry, this is all for the best. And I know that it is. But, you know, I can't help but feel for that poor little tree. I really do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, it is so nice to see our Sun Lord blazing brilliantly. Hail to the Sun Lord. Hail. Woo. Second Bob loves it. <laughs> well, I'm hungry. I'm going to go and get some food. If anything's open, they've closed all of the restaurants now. La Casa, you know, I usually eat, is not open. The, both Chinese restaurants are not open. The Thai place is not open. The Indian restaurant is not open. But I heard a rumor that McDonald's is open. So we're going to check that out. Let's see if McDonald's is open. Come on along. I tell you, I'm amazed at how lush and green the grass is now. Look at this rich emerald green grass. It's just lovely. You know, as a Wiccan, I'm just drawn to things green. By the way, speaking of things green, we are going to have uh, soon, well, not next week, the week after, we're going to do a video on the green star, the magical green star. Yesterday, we did a video on the magical blue star, the blue star of the witches. A lot of you love that, say so how much you enjoyed that. So it's going to be part of our Wic Wic Wiccan Wednesday series for a while. We're going to do star magic. So uh, if you didn't see yesterday's video, check it out. It's in the cube right before this one. Uh, so definitely check it out. Next Wednesday, we're going to talk about the mystical red star. So we got a lot of stuff coming. And wait, I'll tell you a little about what we're going to do tomorrow. So hang with us. Oh, so good to walk. All right, here we are coming up on McDonald's, and it looks like the drive throughs working. I hope I can go in and order. Somebody told me I can order stuff here. We'll find out, so we're gonna check this scene out. Takeout service. Oh, the door's open, thank God. Alright, we can get some food. Let's talk about music. Notice how they have the whole dining room roped off. Look at this. Can't even sit in. Isn't that interesting? A little bit of history there for you. 
Well, what are we going to order today, guys? So many choices. I don't know what we're going to order. Huh? No ice? 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 This lady was really angry at her. She yelled at her, look, don't, I'm not going to help you. And I, was, I don't know what's going on with that. They took my order. <laughs> and notice here in McDonald's, they got on the floor tape lines here. And it says, please stand behind the next line to support social distancing. They put yellow tape down. They're not even letting you touch a kiosk. And that makes sense. I'm glad they shut these down because that's a surface, right? You know, I don't think they clean them often, so that's good that's shut down. Anyways, it's kind of interesting how, you know, the coronavirus is playing out in public. Very interesting. So, there's, look up there, guys. They got, like, new movies now. This is, like, really cool. It's like, like watching movies at McDonald's. Right, so there's the food go by. Oops, there it is. Let's see. Kind of cool. Back when I worked at McDonald's, back in the 1980s, we literally had letters we would put on a board, like a felt board. That's how old I am. Times have changed now. But we're having a great time. And the drink machines are all taped up too. I, I gotta get out of here. Sigma was just thrown out of McDonald's. Do you believe it? They saw me with my camera and started yelling at me. She's like, you can't be doing that. You need to leave. I had my food, so they panned my food and told me to leave. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm, I, I've never been thrown out of a restaurant for filming. The lady told me, she says, you need to leave. Well, excuse me, there ain't nobody in there. I don't know what it's called, what drama it's causing. Oh, God. This, I hope this damn thing ends soon. People are driving me freaking crazy. Freaking crazy. Bite my tongue, sorry. Oh, God, I'm so stressed out about being yelled at, and I wasn't even doing anything. I love this big oak tree. I need this energy. You know, when you feel really overwhelmed by life, like that lady was like, screaming at me. You just got to go find an oak tree and just lean up against it. So when you align your spine with the oak tree, it pulls tension out of you. Oh, just let it go. Got to let it go. I was tempted to start yelling at the lady, but I was like, no, I gotta let it go. <sighs> Alright, breathe deep. We're gonna get through this. Lord have mercy. People are acting crazy where I live. Thank you, Mr. Oak, for sharing your energy with me and helping to heal me. May I give you a hug? I always say thank you to the trees. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Oak. Isn't he wonderful? Not only am I not enjoying this quarantine drama, but my Louis Vuitton bag, whose name is Louis, is really going stir crazy. Because no stores are open and I can't really go anywhere, I haven't been taking him out of the house much. And he's getting anxious, so I may have to take him out for a walk or something. <sighs> crazy world, crazy world. At least the trees look beautiful. Look at these amazing trees down here. These cherry blossoms. You know, they. I found out that down in Washington, you know, I live like five minutes from D.C., they've shut down cherry blossom viewing now because they said it's gathering hundreds of people around the trees. And uh, the Park Service had to shut it down. Uh, my mom told me that, um, isn't this a lovely tree? Look at this. Can you guys see this? That, um... There were so many people down at the, the water where the trees are that they actually brought in the National Guard because people wouldn't disperse when the Park Service told them. So I tell you, people are acting crazy. <sighs> you know, in these times of crisis and drama, it's good to maintain calm by seeking out places of beauty, places of rest, spiritual sanctuaries. One of my spiritual sanctuaries is right here. 
right near my house, there's this amazing memorial to, uh, there used to be an ancient mill here back in the like 1800s. And um, this was one of the millstones from the mill. And so to honor the mill that used to be here, they erected this monument. Now, the historical society will tell you, well, that's just a millstone. But we of the Wicca look at this setup here and I say, you know what? This is actually a secret altar to the goddess. Notice we've got the altar here. See, I can put my put my food down here. Okay, so we got an altar stone. And then this round circle is a holy stone for the goddess. For those of you who study Wicca, you may know that um, many of the ancient witches are old, you know, it's a long time witch tradition wear pendants of holy stones, which is a stone which has a natural hole in it. And um, this is like a giant holy stone. And so I'm claiming this as an altar to the Great Mother, the Goddess. And even though it's a historical site, it's also a spiritual site. So what do you think about that? Gracious Mother, Goddess, we thank you for this day, this place of peace. I thank you for the calm that you bring here by your mystical presence at this new and mystical altar. I ask today a blessing of peace and calm for all my tubies. So many of us are nervous and upset and surrounded by people that are going insane. Grant us your peace and let us like your giant circular stone be reminded that life goes in cycles and this too shall pass, and we will move forward. So mote it be. And so mote it be. By the way, do you remember what we talked about last week? Green equals life. Look at this moss growing on the altar. Isn't that lovely? I think that's so appropriate to have an altar of the goddess that has green moss growing on it. It's made of natural stone, which is earth mother energy with a giant holy stone. So this is one of my new outdoor shrines to the goddess. Speaking of the goddess, tomorrow we're going to do something also very special with the goddess. Um, I thought we'd go down and invoke to the river tomorrow and invoke the goddess Ganga, Ganga Ma or Ganga Devi, the goddess of the Ganges. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. And you're going to say, well, wait a second, second Bob, you're not in India. How can you go to the river if you're not in the Ganges River. Well, we're going to talk about that tomorrow because we're going to bring the Ganges to us. So tomorrow we're going to have kind of a mystical trip where we go to India and we never leave uh, our home state of Virginia. Anyways, you want to learn more about that? Be here tomorrow on Friday for Free For All Friday where we explore the Ganges River. We'll see you then. <laughs> Gracious Mother, thank you for your presence today, your healing, nurturing, and stabilizing presence. I give you this bow in reverence and honor. So mote it be. So mote it be. Well, guys, I have had the best time with you today, and I really appreciate you coming on and out on this little excursion. Well, we don't have many places to go today because nothing's open. Plus, Psyche Bob's busy. I've got private readings to do and housework to do. I'm working on cleaning my house still, getting towards minimalism. And I'm going to have videos on minimalism coming soon, so you definitely got to keep watching. But anyways, thanks for coming along. Listen, if you want to get on my schedule for a private reading, call my office number, 703-825-3929. I am still working during this coronavirus. Private reading is a full hour, you and me, one-on-one. -on -one. And we can do that by telephone, by Skype, or Google Hangouts. So give me a call today. Get on my schedule. If you want to write to me as well, you can write to me at my official email, psychicbobhickman at gmail.com. Anyways, if you want to get on for a reading, that's best to call me because I get hundreds of emails a day. So the phone call will get quicker, quicker service. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Listen, tell me in the box below, what do you think about our new goddess altar of the big holy stone? Do you like that? Should we go there and do rituals? Let me know what you think. Tell me in the box below. 
in the comments section. You guys rock. Listen, we'll see you back here tomorrow for Free For All Friday, where we're gonna go visit with Ganga Devi, the goddess of the Ganges. We're gonna travel to India, or at least bring India to us. So be here tomorrow, you don't wanna miss it. You guys rock, I love you. Mm. Yeah, my hands are full. Mm. <laughs> Blessing to you. We'll see you soon. I tell you, I can't believe the rudeness. Throwing me, Psyche Bob, out of McDonald's. Never thought I'd see that day. <laughs> oh, well, I gotta let it go. I gotta keep going, let it go. <laughs>